Hey guys, it's Nick, and today I'm going to be playing Nexomon Extinction. And it's a kind of, um, it's like Pokemon. Uh, I guess you could call it part of the Monster Tamer. Uh, genre. Same with, uh, Tam Tam. Uh, Coromon. Technically, Yokai Watch. Um, it was it Monster or something? Ah, crap! What's the name? Monster or something? It's in early development right now. I can't believe I forgot. I would be playing the Coromon demo, but it, there's an issue that I'm having to talk to Steam about. Anyways, he's just kind of telling the backstory to Nexomon. So the first game, which if I'm right, was a mobile game, I think. I just, let's just wait for it to get down with this little story. So we get into the game and I'll look at his view. Tell me what your name was again. You know what? Retro Games HQ, sure. Yep. Alright. Keep falling. Right. I'm just gonna. There, here's all the different appearances you can take. There's actually quite a few. Alright, so. I'm just gonna go with the one they start you off on. Weirdly enough. That's not where we start off. Can I believe my eyes? How did it come to this? Why is this happening? Retro Games HQ. That boy betrayed us all. Everything we've built. Everything we've been fighting for. Such raw power. Such absolute wickedness. The end of the days is upon us. Emily, we must retreat now. It's not worth it. Shut it, Edward. Listen to me and listen well. If we're to save our planet, Retro Games HQ must be annihilated. Stand with me, tall and proud, against the face of evil. Our people will rise as Retro Games HQ falls. That's not nice. Rip. I'll never forgive you. You doomed us all, Retro Games HQ. You were a cursed brat. Well, I did nothing wrong. And this is how you start off. <coughs> Don't know your age, I'm guessing 10. But you're in an orphanage. Here's your friend Nora. What are you doing here, Retro Games HQ? Today's the big day. You do know what day it is, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna say, of course. Alright, then what are you waiting for? We're about to become real tamers. Don't mess this up. The others are already outside, Retro Games HQ. Hurry up. Uh, go get some supplies from the storage room. I can't even remember what that is. Alright, so. 
I'm not gonna. Uh, hmm. I don't plan on sticking necessarily completely to like, oh, go do this, go do this, go do this. I'm at venture off some because the beauty of this is that it's not exactly linear. There's places that are cut off until you can to get to certain parts or points of the game, but there's some that are just open. I mean, you can go across so much of the world. To a great extent, it is open world. Got an apple. Any shining things like that, you can pick up. Go up the chests. Found 50 coins. What's great also is a lot of these NPCs aren't just NPC talk. It's like, Retro Games HQ, what are you doing? Uh, you're supposed to be getting your first Nexomon. I'm still too young for that, but next year will be my turn. And then, oh wow, Nora was really mad at you. That's just because today's the big day. I'm not going to do that. Uh, you guys get to become guild tamers. How cool is that? You notice right here, there's another shining thing. 20 coins. Alright, of course there's a gap there. But there's so much to get to. So, to the left is the wrong direction. Let's go to the left. And all these are going to be different. Did you know? There's a small camp to the west. Full tamers. They do quests and stuff. Maybe you should join them today. So, uh, west is left, by the way. All these doors, you can go up to them. And it's going to be appears to be locked. Oh, did you hear? Dragons are a fairly recent species of Nexomon. They showed up like two decades ago. No one knows why. And this little girl's going to not let you go. But if you go right here, you get a Nexo Trap. Which a Nexo Trap... Should be a ceremony here. The Nexo Trap is pretty much the Pokeball. It's just a triangle. Alright, see, so we can keep talking. Oh, Retro Games HQ. The storage room is just across this corridor. I said corridor. Oh, it's such an important day. Please go get some supplies. So, again, talk, 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 talk. This dude, he's like, oh, go get some stuff, blah, blah, blah. You know what? I'm just going to el elixir. Ooh. Potion. Ether. And... Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. I see that someone's super eager to become a tamer. I'll have to restock the storage room. Leave some potions for your fellow adventurers, Retro Games. I'm going to stop saying the HQ because this can be easy. Anyways, you go out here. You get a revive. I pretty much explored everywhere before I really went. Where I was supposed to when I first. Because I've already played this to an extent. I have not beat it. I'm not even come close to beat it. Anyways. There's an chest if you know it's over there, but we can't get it because there's rocks. One, two, three. Oh, only three kids this year. Hold on a second. Uh, there's supposed to be a fourth brat. I'm sure that he's on his way. Uh, why are we waiting for retro games? We're wasting time. Calm down, Ross. Patience is a tamer's greatest virtue. You just made that up. So Coco is, for some reason, a cat. And he's one of the funniest characters he calls out bullcrap, cliches, stuff like that. Um, I won't say anything more about it. You make your own judgments. We're waiting, period. And of course, I'm right here, so she can just hold on to her panties, meet with your friends. I can't even get, there's another thing I was shining. Anyways, it forces you over here pretty much. Wonderful, retro games graces us with his presence. Let's get this over with, Emily. And if you remember, this is the woman that was just screaming about. He screwed us all, pretty much. Alright then. Greetings, children. My name is Emily, and I represent the Tamers Guild. Every year, we select a number of you youngsters to become Nexomon Tamers and join our ranks. This will be the turning point of your life. And I am here to ensure your success. But we need our own Nexomon to register, right? And as is our tradition, yes. The Northern Woods are an ideal place to acquire your first companion. If you have until midnight, I'll fetch you the wood I'll fetch you from the woods once time's up. You're sending a bunch of kids into some woods until midnight? Fret not, nothing can happen in the ancient forest. Alright. You clearly have never played an RPG before. You'll be fine for Olzar's sake. Go, the clock is ticking. And I'm not going to do exclamations. I'm not going to do 
I'm not actually going to try on the voice acting for Mouse. Anyways, right here's what I was talking about. Let's get more coins. And honestly, just go ahead. And, this is the one thing I will just get started with. Okay. All right. So here's the plan. Unlike normal people, Coco can use this sense of smell to track any Nexomon for us. See? Then, uh, normal people? Uh, this is a waste of time. I'm going on my way. Good luck, guys. Uh, do as you please. Uh, then I'll be taking this road. Don't follow me. Oh, well, uh, at least we've got plenty of time. Uh, where should we go, Richard Games? Maybe we can check out the... Impossible. Richard Games, what are you doing here? Hear me out. Something's dangerous on its way. Who are you? What's going on? Where should we hide? I'm just going to ask, where should we hide? Thank goodness, you seem like a rational kid. Uh, going back to the orphanage will just put other kids in danger. Listen to me. There's a fake statue to the north. Got it? It has a secret chamber underneath where you can hide. Hurry up. My time. Our time is running out. Uh, why are you shaking? Uh, you want to go to the north? I suppose it's as good as any other path. Sure. It's like, oh, what's well, a shiny rock? If only you had a pickaxe. Oh, see? You know, it's pretty cool. Normal, well, secluded area. Hey, Retro Games, look. Uh, there, there's something in the sky. Oh, okay. Whoa, that's super huge. It's like a shooting star or something, huh? Might as well make a wish, Retro Games. Let's see. I wish for a completely normal and uneventful adventure. Huh. <laughs> Our IP. Okay. <coughs> oh, what's that thing? Sorry. <clears throat> Is that a dragon? There's no way we can run from that. You were too slow, Retro Games. I told you to hurry. Of course, I couldn't have done anything more. A dragon? Here, of all places. Calm down, kid. Might as well learn how to fight now. Help is on the way. I need you to hold on for a little longer. Do you understand? May I have something? I have something for you. Glad she's carrying around that crate randomly. Come, take one of these. Also, where are you going to store it? It isn't like you can just put it on your belt. And those things don't look like they get miniature like Pokemon balls. I don't know. This is this shall be your companion for life. So choose li wisely, Retro Games. You will use this to fight the dragon, even if it's just for a little bit. So you have nine different monsters, Nexomon, you can pick from. Now, here's the thing. You can get these in the wild. So it's not like the Pokemon starters. Um, there's a few complaints about some fans about some other stuff regarding this, but you know what? Overall, I love this game. I'm I'm gonna give them benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna give them plenty of leeway. They're playing a now multi-decade catch-up with Pokemon, and they're trying to figure out their own thing. So you know what? I'll support them. I have no problem supporting them, and I think some designs. Honestly, some designs are just freaking cool. Anyways, the ones, the one I got for my main adventure was this one. The electric type. I think this is like the mine type. Rock, ground, or something type. I guess wind type. This is like ghost, fire, water, normal, plant, leaf, something like that. Anyways, I'm going to be choosing this one since it's literally the opposite. So, Mara. An adorable and intelligent Nexomon who knows how to use its charm in its favor during a, during tamer battles. Loves to be pet. So let's select. Also, realize how fast this crap gives us a freaking mon. 
Now listen very carefully. Once this is all over, nobody can know about me. Understood? Keep your mouth shut, Retro Games. Alright. You can do it, Retro Games. I believe in you. I cannot do it. But, you know. Alright. What, what the heck are you doing? Retro Games. Are you insane? Come back. Please. All right, 616 HP versus 22. Also, I like this layout. Um, so the background's actually painted. Um, so it looks very nice. I like the menu right here, items, team, flea, skills. Uh, there's some people um, asking for like a rest function because as you can see, we actually have stamina. Now let me go to my skills now on the right you can see 10 and 10 that's going to be how much stamina it takes away which if you look at my the mara health bar the hp and then the st which stands for stamina you can see how many nexomon you have underneath you have 22 hp and 100 stamina you can see how much stamina is taken away and the problem is you can't rest to actually get back 10 stamina until you run out of stamina and you can't do a move now I think that's going to be changed. I'm going to be honest. I think it's going to be changed because enough people's complained about it. Again, I'll give them... They're, they, they're trying to figure out how to do this. So, let's give them some breathing room on this. So, Blooming Spores deals high plant damage with, 10, uh, with a 10% chance to inflict poison. Or deals plant damage with... 25% critical rate. Now you can see the power is 75, accuracy 80, stamina is 10, speed is 49, and critical is 25%. Now this one is speed of 65, accuracy 95, stamina 10, speed 16. So you realize this, not only do they have different attacks and the accuracy for a lot of these are not 100, stamina changes, but so does the speed and the critical, uh, the critical rate, and uh, hit rate, whatever, and it'll tell you, you know, um, Pretty much critical hit rate, speed, all that. So I'm gonna pick Blooming Spores. You know, well, animation's not that horrible, and also only 13 damage. So I'll hit him again. He somehow misses me. I'll hit him again. Where's that? He actually killed me. If he will hit 26 first time, I will have been done for. All right. Blast it away. <laughs> I told you to stay back. Ugh. I don't know what to do. What do we do? Uh, there's no way we can beat it, a dragon. Let's keep fighting. I like your guts, Retro Games. But not all fights are meant to be won. Come on, get in here. Which was it? The... Something Maru. Maru. Whatever the Star Trek one where it's pretty much the best, you know, you're going to lose. But you got to figure out the best way to lose. The statue, it vanished. This is our chance to escape. Some modern. I'm that's gonna kill me. I don't want to. Yep, I hope this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jeez. And the freaking. What kind of gains is he making if he's able to toss a kid like that? Hey! Virtual games. Come on. Wake up. We're safe now. And here's a nice little cave. Now, if you. Excuse me a second piece of my glasses just kind of fell off okay there we go <laughs> all right hmm maybe if i retro games your legs the dragon got them and then of course i'll be down all right calm down uh where'd you get that next one from a secret huh hanging out with you is gonna be a lot of fun Oh, uh, look at. Anyways, look at this place. What's up with this hidden chamber? We can't go back outside with that dragon out there. How about we explore a little? All right, so I'm gonna be hero's legacy. All right. There's running. If you just press the L, which is pretty much the cancel button. And synergy core. Now. If you played this, if you've already played this, um, 
and you're watching this, go back to the beginning areas. There will be chests that are not open that had other things in them. They've since put in synergy cores. Synergy cores is pretty much EXP share, and I'll show you. I'm going to go to my inventory over, over this. So, copies 25% of the experience received by other team members without having to fight. People were complaining about the EXP pretty much allotment, um, and they want the choice of how to, uh, you know, they don't want a Pokemon Shield, Pokemon Sword kind of experience. And I'll show you how to, even though I only have one right now, I'll show you how to, actually, I'm going to catch a Nexomon before I show you how to attach cores, because there's different cores with different things. But anyways, if you've already played this, go back to your uh, orphanage town. You've got a, a thing there that has a synergy core, and you have a synergy core here. So, um, free stuff. Alright, so here's an arrow Nexo trap. 25 more coins, which is just money. And another potion. So really not much else we can do except for head up. And... Who is this? I hope you guys remembered, uh, you know, face from the beginning. Retro games, wasn't... Nice to meet you, child. My name is... Well, it doesn't matter anymore. You... That's a ghost. This is some kind of tomb. Relax, kid. I saved you just now from that dragon, didn't I? You waited until the last moment. Do you realize how traumatic that can be for a child? Anyway, that dragon is now gone, so you can leave if you wish. No, oh, what is the pla What is this place, anyways? My final resting place. I was once a tamer just like you. Wow, were you strong? <laughs> Not too shabby, I suppose. Did you hear that? He was a real tamer. He could teach us something. You know that's not the normal reaction to meeting a dead person, right? Uh, but sure, I can teach you how to catch an Exomon if you want. There's a good spot up ahead. We can use that. Now, another great thing is that they don't just force you to go away. Literally, nothing can go wrong by following a ghost into a dark cave. So before I get this, I am going to get this, which is Super Potion. So sad, sad music. This... The team that saved people previously from Coromon. Oh, wow. Look at this retro games. I wonder who these clowns are. Uh, they were the bravest warriors of my generation. And Spencer. Nice little photo. And it stays there. So if you ever want to go back and view it for some reason, maybe you've played the first Nexomon game and it hits you and it feels. Also, to the rights and other item. So retro games. You may not know this, but we live in a perilous time. Uh, this world of yours is horrible, disgusting, burning, broken, depressing. Uh, yes, we get it. But if you know where to look, you will always find a Nexomon. Can you see that shaking grass over there? There must be a wild Pokemon hiding that spot. Approach it so we can capture it. Ten Nexo traps. Now, enter the grass, and I will show you how to use Nexo traps. This may be a complicated skill to master, but do we just weaken the Nexomon and then throw the trap? Perhaps. Anyways. That's 25 coins. And that thing over there is something I think they just had with the last update. Because I didn't see him when I first played it. It will heal your team completely. Because it was kind of... The way this battle system is, you get a lot of faint, uh, fainted, uh, exhausted, no stamina, or low HP po uh, Nexomon. So let's go right into the shaking grass. It's going cute. All right. We're going to capture this next one. Retro games. The most important step is to weaken your target. Go ahead and attack. Blooming spores. Oh my god. Not bad. Uh, I know that you're just trying to skip this tutorial. So let's get it over with. Thank you. So press both Q and E to open the capture menu. The table shows a breakdown of your capture chance. There are a lot of factors involved like your opponent's HP. 
You can also feed the Nexomon with various meals to improve your chances, but we can learn about that later. The type of Nexo Trap you use also matters, but for now, let's just use the regular Nexo Trap I gave you. As you can see, this was 17, but which Nexo Trap you use actually influences your um, chances. The type of Nexo Trap you use also matters, but for now, let's just use the regular Nexo Trap I use. I gave you. Now, get ready for this. Watch this. K J K J I K I I. You can only do it in a certain amount of time. Skunk cute was caught. And it gives you pretty much the. Mm. Permanent, it gives you permanent index information. HP 22, stamina 100, attack 13, defense 7, speed 18. So that also tells you that they don't have a special attack and don't have a special defense. Now maybe in future games they will, I don't know. Maybe they just think oh, it's going to be simpler, this is the best way. Also, they don't have dual types. So Skunk Q is, its adorable appearance belies its foul smell, which is its main defense against opponents. You can send a party, you can nickname it, or you can just send a storage. So I'm going to send a party just so I can show you how to equip the Synergy Core. Actually, Synergy Core 3. Well done. Uh, there's plenty more I'd like to teach you, but I'm sure your friends will be looking for you now. And I'm sure that we'll meet again, but until then, stay safe. This world's not as gentle as it used to be. So, I'll just show you. My team. Alright. Skunk Cute. So just enter, here's your skills, but you go over, you have cores. Then you press again, which slot you want it in, synergy core. So this will copy 25% of any experience, even if it's not in a battle. I'm going to battle another one just to damage and to show you, you know, pretty much show you the synergy core in practice. So I'm going to use blooming spores, which has, which has a chance to poison, a 10% chance to poison. So it's eight. All right. Now, also, you can do this. Actually, do I have? I do not. I don't have any thing. Oh, anyways, go back. You can also go to feed. I have an apple. So I'm going to throw him an apple. He didn't enjoy it very much. He's going to attack me again. And I'm going to use another Nexo Trap. Now, as you see, the, feed, the Fed gives plus 5%. So it's up to 32%, and let's do this. I, J, K, L, K, L, 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 L. Anyways, that is the quick action, or quick time event, pretty much. So, Rubby, don't leave your belongings unattended around this fluffy Nexomon. It checks every pocket it can for something to steal. Disgusting. And, you know, I'm going to send this to storage. It's another normal type. Nah. Anyways. Uh, if you see, let's see, did I get, no, oh yeah, here's another thing, if you catch a Nexomon, you get zero experience, just if I, alright, I'm gonna just try to beat this one, that's my main focus here, alright, come on crit, alright, I got crit, and it still didn't matter, you got crit. All right. It's going cute. Anyway, just trust me, the synergy core works. <laughs> All right. Let's get out of here. I wasn't going to catch on. I just wanted to show you the experience. If only I had a pickaxe. Oh, yes, I forgot I needed a pickaxe for that. There's a guy. You can talk to him. Uh, What's up? Can you heal my next one? Sure. There you go. Camp to west. Personal experience things only get worse. Exponentially worse. And here's Emily. Good gracious, at Retro Games. Are you all right? A dragon just attacked the area. I've been looking for you. Oh, look. The Miss Nothing Can Happen in These Ancient Woods. Uh, we were saved by a creepy ghost, by the way. A ghost? Please, you, you must be seeing things. You are talking to a cat. Telemarketer. That's who that's calling. I'm sick and tired of them. 
We are leaving the woods right now. Following me back to the orphanage retro games, there's no telling what will happen next. Are we going now, retro games? Uh, now that you finally have your own Nexomon and some Nexo traps, it can't hurt to explore a little. And he is correct. You can just explore. Now let's check this guy. I see that you're in an Nexomon. Do you know that there's even a... What's even better than creepy animals? Shards. Beautiful, precious, marvelous, elemental shards. Some rocks. I, they're not rocks. They're shards. Mar I mean, it, yeah. The shards are valuable items, and they all they serve all manner of useful purposes. Interested? Yes. Superb. Then I have an amazing deal for you. For just a few coins and a couple supplies, I'll give you a pickaxe. The most important tool to mine these precious gemstones. This feels like a scam. Talk to me when you're ready to make a the greatest investment of your life. And this is how side quests pretty much pop up. Uh, you have received a side quest. Keep track of your quest by accessing the journal on the main menu. Make sure you get the pickaxe. Get the pickaxe. Get the pickaxe. Do not skip this. Get the pickaxe. This is all he demands. Just accept it. Yes. And you permanently have the pickaxe. Wonderful. Uh, you're going to love the pickaxe. You'll be able to get some mini shards with them. I, I can't speak right today. Most gemstones are found in caves rather than in the open, but the pickaxe will still come in handy for breaking boulders around here. Even if they don't contain many gems, simply stand in front of a shiny boulder. Just smash it. Alright. Complete the quest. Bam. Phantom shard. Alright, so pretty much from here, you can just explore. I mean, literally. There are some places you can't go because you have to advance farther. Um, you'll well, Later in the game, you'll learn about this thing. But if you go up here, you break this rock, you can get this, which is a Synergy Core. Another Synergy Core 3. And here's a hidden one back here. This is an Ether. Now, I'm about to give you the best advice you will get in this game by no means by exactly zero means am i exaggerating i am not at all kidding this is a special rookie bit discount trust me city shops are ripping you off do not go to the guild and do the don't go to the guild don't do you don't be like oh i'm gonna follow the main quest go battle you know why because all this is cheap but mainly, Nexo traps are only 50 coins. You do not realize how cheap that is, even when you get the merchant discounts, because there are merchant discounts for many reasons. You, you just need to... You think, oh. Uh, he's exaggerating. No. N-O. Big fat no. Go battle. From here, go battle. Go explore. Spend every sent you make either on a side quest or buying nexomon traps before you you know nexo traps so before you go in advance honestly if you have 100 good if you want man i just want to keep exploring cool you know um if you end up with 10,000 you know and i would say 10,000 coins. I would say Bob Nexo traps, possibly. You might want to save a little bit because they're specialized, but there's other ways you can get specialized ones without having to spend money. But this is the greatest thing ever. This dude, he will disappear. Thank God I, I bought a ton before I realized he would just disappear. Wish I would have bought more. And no matter how many you buy, I think you're going to be feeling like, I wish I would have bought more because you don't really. Okay, look at the percentages I was just showing you. Many times those percentages are even lower, especially when you're just using regular Nexo traps. Even when you feed them, it's tedious. Your your Nexomon go down in HP, stamina, all this stuff. It sucks. Um, you're going to be going through Nexo traps a lot. There's over 300 of these to catch or tame, whatever, capture, trap. Make sure you get it. So that's all for this video. Um, I might be making some more videos on this save file of Nexomon. And I'll go and show you how you save it. Let me just go down to system. 
save. Of course, you can see I've played almost eight hours in the air one. Slot two. Yes, overwrite because it, it automatically saves, auto saves. And also, if you see the amount, of, you can see the amount of coins you have and your reputation. So, that's all for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And retro on.